Well, hello, YouTubers. How's it going? Let's just get right into the video today. We have a neon here. We have a rear leaky wheel cylinder. Uh, over the last couple days, uh, I kept noticing my brake fluid kept going down. And on the inside of the back rear wheel, we have a little bit of fluid leaking out down onto the rim. So uh, we're going to be changing this out. Pretty easy to do. Hopefully this will help you out. All right, so we'll go ahead and check the brake fluid. And over the last couple of days, like I said, uh, my brake fluid kept going down. And I've noticed it's also a little black in there, so something's going on. And uh, like I said, uh, when I went to look at the back wheel, I actually saw some brake fluid. So I know that right wheel on this side of the uh, driver's side is bad. So we're going to have to change that cylinder out. So let's get this thing up in the air and start working on it. All right, so let's go ahead and get this wheel out of the way. Pretty easy to take off. Now, luckily for me, I don't have to worry about popping the center cap off here and taking a nut out. This model, this hub will slide right off. We may have to take a hammer and hit it a little bit to help it. Because sometimes the brakes can be a little tight. All right, there we go. And uh, there's the inside, the drum. Pretty oily, but it's nice and smooth. And you can see, here's the issue. Check it out. We have a leaky wheel cylinder. So this is what we're going to be replacing. And while you're in here, check this wheel bearing. Make sure it's nice and smooth and no play. And we are good. So now what we're going to have to do is go ahead. There's a couple bolts on the back here we have to take off. And there's also a little bit of a uh, brake line here we have to uh, release. Get it broke off. Once we do all that, then we can just pop this wheel cylinder off. All right, so let's go ahead and get this uh, cover off of the bleeder. And there it is. Now, it's going to be uh, kind of hard for me to film in behind here because it's really tight. But there are two little bolts here. We'll get a socket here. We'll pop these off. If these are eight millimeter little bolts on the back here. So we'll get put my wrench back in here. And what, we'll, what we want to do is just break these loose for now. Don't take them off all the way. Let's make sure they're going to come off. Okay, we're going to be okay there. And the reason we do this, we don't want to go ahead and rip the brake line off and uh, find out you can't get these off. Then you're going to have to put the brake line on and drive it. And then you're going to have to worry about bleeding your brakes. So make sure this comes off first. Now I have to stick my head in here to see what I'm doing. All right, break the other one loose. Now, the trick here is just kind of tap it. You don't want to put a lot of force on it because you will twist them right off. So these are all loose. Now, the next thing you want to do is get you a one of these guys. These are brake line wrenches. These are great to have. And we're going to put this on the back. And we're going to go ahead and try to break this loose. And on this one here, let's see, I think it's going to be this size here. It's going to be the 3 8 So we'll go ahead and get this on the brake line. And work this a little bit. Now, you may have to work it a little bit because there's going to be dirt and grease on that. And what we're doing, we're cleaning all that off and getting a good bite on the uh, wrench there. So let me uh, kind of pan up for you guys. Let me see if I can zoom back. Like I said, not a lot of room back here. All right, so we got that on there. And now what we want to do is just kind of hit it a little bit, tap it, and verify. All right, it's going to break loose. And I think we're going to be okay. But before you go twisting it too much, rock it back and forth a little bit because what we want to do is break that nut loose from the line. Okay, now, so if you get into an issue like I've gotten myself into here, I cannot get this loose. The whole thing wants to turn. See that? So what you got to do is get your pair of vice grips and kind of grip this metal part on the brake line, hold it, and just kind of work this back and forth real easy like this. And this will eventually break that from the line and you won't have to worry about twisting everything off. It may take a few minutes to do this, but if you have a little patience, it should come right off. It looks like we are, there we go. So it looks like we're working and the line is coming off. And as you can see, we have success. We got our line off and this is the key to save yourself a lot of hassle and headaches because you don't want to twist this off. And now we'll just simply put this off to the side and get you a pan like this and catch any fluid that drips out. All right, now since we got the brake line out of the way, we can go ahead and take our little millimeter bolts out here. They, uh, what did I say they were? Sometimes I forget here. Let me just verify that. These are eight millimeter. 
little tiny bolts no, take out and let me know where you're watching from and say hi because we all like to help each other it's amazing what YouTube has become so here we go. Here's one. Now see, these are kind of small, so don't drop them, lose them. And we got one more to take out over here. Now this will apply just about any vehicle on the road today. This is how you replace your wheels, cylinders in the back. Just so you know, they're not too different. Although you may have bigger brake shoes or some bigger springs to deal with, but the process is about the same. And there's the other one. And now we're ready to go ahead and pull this apart. Now watch right here with my fingers. If you look closely, if I zoom in, we got to kind of zoom in there a little bit for you guys. See that fluid there leaking out of there? Watch. There was some fluid squirting out of there a minute ago right there. <laughs> so I definitely had an issue with the cylinder here. So now just go ahead and push this out like this. You may have to take a screwdriver or something and kind of pry back on this uh, spring a little bit. Let me go get one. All right, so let's go ahead and get this out of here. Now, you can do it a couple of ways. You can take this spring off if you want, or you can just pry back on it like this and uh, go ahead and slide this off a little bit like this and do the same thing on this side. Push back and get that back off the thing here. And basically, off comes our wheel cylinder. And that's really all there is to it. Go ahead and put our new one on. We'll clean this up a little bit and finish up. Okay, so here is the new one, and here is the part number for this one here. Uh, this is for the 2000 Neon. I believe this is the same from 99 to 2005, and probably for a lot of other vehicles. And uh, there's the new one. So we'll go ahead and get this guy ready before Mother Nature decides to pay me a visit here with a nice shower, it looks like. All right, so put this back in. We'll simply just go in here and uh, push that one on there like that. Push this brake over there. Take your, if your thumb is strong enough, you might be able to just pull back on this brake like this. I just about could do that, but I'm gonna go ahead and just kind of use my screwdriver. And boom, there we go. We are good. And we have a brand new master wheel cylinder. So uh, how good of a feeling is that, knowing that you just saved yourself probably about $200? Hmm. Let me know what you think. There's a bad look at the back of it. I almost forgot to show you what it looks like. There's where the two bolts go. And the brake line and the old bleeder. So we'll go ahead and stick these screws in. I may have to stick my ugly, ugly fat head in here and kind of get it started all right there's one oops this is this is live action cam real-time video <laughs> where did I get that saying from I bet some of you don't know I guess he's still doing that TV show too so all right so I oh, know shut up do your job all right so here we go tighten this up tighten it up to about 10 pounds not very tight just snug it doesn't have to be brute force and do the same thing on this side I didn't take this spring out I could have but there's really it's really tight to get in there and with all this brake fluid that's on there it's very slippery so it's probably worth your time just to slide this out like I did and one more here and now we'll go ahead and put our brake line in then really all we have to do is open up the bleeder and put some brake fluid in and bleed it real simple a lot of times if you just leave the bleeder open on the back of this and let the fluid start dripping out and go in and pump the brakes tighten this down come back out a couple times you're good to go all right so we just about got this pretty snug now if you can start this with your fingers because you don't want to cross thread it very easy to do and we are good and we are basically done my friends 
now I'll get their bleeder that they gave me which is uh look how, look how long this thing is this is a pretty long bleeder so we're gonna stick this in the back and uh, I'll go pour some brake fluid in and we'll kind of let this uh, drip out a little bit I'll put the hub on. Don't forget to put the hub on. Don't go in there and hit your brakes with this hub off because if you do, these things will go flying everywhere and you're going to be like really upset. And we'll go ahead and tighten this bleeder up. And it's also an 8 millimeter wrench or a deep well socket. That's what I'm basically using. So I'm going to back it off just a little bit. And now we'll simply put the hub on. I've cleaned the grease off on it. I've checked it, inspected it. Uh, it's in really good shape and uh, how about that we are done so let's go ahead and put some brake fluid in and bleed it and you can be on your merry way all right my friends uh, basically I didn't really have to do much bleeding at all I left the bleeder open until the fluid started dripping out I closed it up went inside and pumped my brake two times with the engine off and I started it up a full pedal and also check your reservoir make sure you put a little fluid in it up front i checked it and finally it's full and we are done so i hope this helps you guys out if you have brake problems here's one thing you can do real quick now simply just do this take your tire off or you don't have to take your tire off but if your tire's still in obviously sometimes you can see the tire rim on the inside just simply look on the inside of the rim. If you see a wet spot, it's kind of oily. You probably have a wheel cylinder that's leaking. Probably want to get it fixed. At least before you take it for an inspection because if they see any fluid leaking, they will not pass it. All right guys, so I am done. I'm not gonna bore you with putting the wheel back on and all that. And I've got to kind of hurry up here because Mother Nature is knocking on the door. Looks like we got some rain coming in a storm. If you like any of my videos, Say hello and all that good stuff. And until my next video, I will see you guys later. Have a good one.